Let me tell you guys, it's such a beautiful day like here in, here in, uh, here in Montreal because like it's, uh, it's like what, five degrees or something, you know, and we're only like almost the end of February and everything. Normally at this time of year, like it's, it's cold, but like it's, it's spring today, you know. Like, uh, because I knew like this bus was on this line and everything, I thought like I would have to wait like a, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. But in the end, it was actually at the terminus by the time I got there. So that's sweet timing, you know. This bus and their network still kicking it, you know, still going strong. This line, like, this is the only old bus on this whole line. It's all the hybrids that's in today. Been inside this building it's really it's a beautiful building you know and like they have these uh, storage facilities facilities and everything and like let me tell you like the doors are very heavy it's like they're full of when you're saying you're going into a jail you know everything's great and everything but hey it's it's really beautiful it's like you're stepping back in time you know i 
I mean, I would like film this bus, the, a couple of rides on it, you know, going or at a few intersections of it in action or anything, but uh, uh, I'm going downtown, so, well, but hey, at least I get a full ride on this line, you know, show you guys the beauty of it all on this beautiful day, you know. in the back there that used to be the old uh, Benny library until they built the new uh, community center community complex or whatever you know I remember I went there a few times to sleep crap like this is the last day of the train to Rigo if you guys don't know uh, the Vaudray line used to go all the way to Rigo until they cut the service because of uh, they had to pay so much money and the ridership was so low what was the point of having it you know I'm like man I wish I I went on that I went on that day but in the end I didn't but hey you know you do what you can you know since I'm older and everything, now I can go alone, you know. But as as someone said once in that in a video about the train of Rigo, saying that like we shouldn't really having train offs, we should be like incre increasing service and everything, and it's true. You know, more people are taking public transit than ever. You know. houses were built like uh, most of them at least almost a hundred years ago a lot of these houses and this also goes to uh, a few of my friends from school uh, my old school uh, who live in this area Simon there uh, um, 
Cordelia, Sasha, and all that, you know. surprised I, I I think I remember th this condo here I think it used to be a gas station or a garage I, but I would be, I wouldn't be surprised if it was and what I tell you guys hey it's all hybrids here there's no this is the only old, old bus here You see that uh, little uh, white part on top of the, uh, above the, uh, the red light there? That is that is a priority light uh, during rush hour. That light would light up. See if it does actually. No. But that light would light up, and it would give the buses and taxis the uh, priority. It would give them like a ten or five second from, uh, head start, you know? Because uh, here in Quebec. Uh, Buses are a big priority, you know. Attached these two, and that building that, that you saw before when we started moving, uh, Cosmos. That's a very popular breakfast place. It's a very popular joint, you know. It's it's a very small diner, very small. There's like I don't know what six seating spaces or whatever. I don't know, but uh, it's just, it's really it's really cool, you know. Esposito. Yeah, this part of not necessarily this part of NDG, but if you go if you go south of here, it's mostly uh, there's a big Italian community. You know, here it's more, a bit Italian, but if you go more south of its tracks, it, it's uh, there's a big Italian community. here but see like they're planting uh, more new trees because uh, two years ago almost three years ago almost uh, in August there's was a a big uh, microburst there that killed a lot of trees in this park man. you know shown you if I was on the other side I was showing you Shally barbecue which is a very good barbecue place here in the western part of the city see another hybrid what I tell you right yeah this whole building was all rebricked last year it was all rebricked Really good job. You know, I do have a feeling I actually did do a video 
on this line with the same bus uh, not too long ago. I, I actually won't be surprised if I did. That's a beautiful mural right there. I don't know if you guys saw it well, but uh, if you saw that, like, uh, those reflectors on the back of that bumper there, of that bus there, that's a sign actually of the, that that bus is from the Frontenac bus garage. Because Frontenac, uh, they have, uh, I think it's because their their uh, their garage is only so small and they have to have a certain amount of buses to meet the rush hour standards or whatever. And uh, it's to make sure that like, uh, you know, that's their bus and they, it doesn't go anywhere else. And uh, to that, I think another factor could be is that Hey, I was just thinking about that commuter on a Vaudreuil. Yeah, so as I was saying, um, another factor I think why did they have those reflectors because they do night routes, you know? Fronac, uh, Fronac, they do a lot of night routes. So, so uh, I think it's also like for truck drivers, whatever, you know, I, I wouldn't be surprised. And here we are guys, we're running at our destination, Station Vendôme. You know, speaking about trains that like uh, they're still protesting the uh, pipeline and the uh, Kanziak, uh, the train line south of Montreal. Um, if uh, nothing gets resolved tonight, there's, it's going to be the third week they haven't had service to those people. And you know the thing that's weird is that we haven't heard any complaints out of those people. You know why? There's something similar to them happening like that last uh, two years ago, two, three years ago. And I guess it's because. Uh, I guess they're. I guess they, they know how to deal with it. Deal with a situation like that, you know. And here we are, our destination. Just gonna wait for these people to get off. Ah. Wow. Ah, what a comfortable ride. Uh, you know how ironic that uh, brand new 2020 hybrid just passed the corner there all right that's it guys thank you